Holy Moses, we're splitting Lake Erie up there in Cleveland, Ohio. Hey, it's Brandon from back with a beer review, and here we have Surviving Slocktoberfest Great Lakes Brewing Company Holy Moses White Ale. This is actually pretty new. I actually looked at the date of this one, and I want to say, yeah, uh, Best Buy, now I believe that's a 7 of, uh, so July 1st, 2019. So Meyer's getting a little bit fresher beer in. That's great. And I'm going to buy it. And uh, this, was it this one? Two of I had four, I bought four, and two of them were not in the system. Typical. I mean, I, I think I'm, I'm writing to Meyer and saying, hey, look, whatever store this is here in Fairfield, it's a crapshoot if the beer is either fresh or in the system. And it really irritates the cashiers when it's not. So we have, as expected, a very yellowy color, nice cloudiness. I did pour it. I get some of the, yep, let's get some more of the yeast in there. Awesome. White head on top. Hmm. Oh, this has got a nice sort of Belgian aroma. It's like a Belgian wit, right? Yeah. An ale with spices and chamomile. I'm not really sure. <clears throat> Sorry, but my daughter's pestering me. And if I don't respond, she'll send yet another message. Come on! I know, so professional. And I'm not cutting this out. Hmm. It's got a nice, clean uh, backbone. Hints of fruit, but not very, very light, because it's not a, it's not a bell, it's not a, um, an Abbey Ale. Mmm. Oh. Oh, that's good. Oh, wow. That is really good. That must be the chamomile mid-mouth to finish, because that's not a flavor I'd expect. I wonder what spices are in it. Orange peel, cor yeah, coriander you can definitely taste. And chamomile, I'm not sure what chamomile tastes like. I know it's kind of like it's a flower and I've smelled it. I don't know if I've ever, chamomile teal, tea though, I guess, you know. That is a lovely, I mean, this is like a perfect springy ale. It's got lots going on, lots of, of freight flavors, lots of aromas. Yeah, and you get an orange peel. It's not orangey, it's not like the fruit, of, it's not like the meat of the orange. You get this hint of orange, it's like a little bit of orange rind. So there's this odd bitterness there. I don't really get any pepperiness, so we don't have any sourness, we don't have any Saison flavors. This color I would expect it to be more yellow and a little bit clearer if it was a Saison. But man, that's good. It has a very odd finish, and I think that's the chamomile. It's like, you got hints of coriander, kind of uh, the right past the tip of the tongue. So like halfway between the tip and mid-mouth. Mid-mouth, you have coriander and a little hint of chamomile, and there's a tiny, the orange peel to me is very delicate. It's, it's very difficult to find. It's there, but it's not defining. And then the, the finish is like chamomile. I mean, it's like you're... Tongue is lined with chamomile. And of course, being a wit ale, it's very fizzy, very well carbonated. Um, so this is good cold, which is fairly cold right now, but it's going to get a little bit warmed up. It'll get better. Got a nice white head on it, very small bubbles and carbonation. We have yeast in the bottom, which tell. I, I tend to believe that that's probably natural carbonation, but it could be bright tank. I mean, some bright tanks are fantastically... You got kind of a yellowy, I don't say golden, it's like almost like a banana yellow. Yeah, on the nose, coriander, just a hint of orange. I don't really get much chamomile on the nose. Mm. But this is a nice refreshing beer. This is a springtime beer. It's not a lawnmower beer. This beer is a little heavy for when it's hot. It has some refreshingness to it. doesn't have that sour note, so it doesn't have that full refreshment that a farmhouse ale or a Saison would give. But that's more, Saison is more of a summer ale. This is more of a spring ale. Um, you're going to want to, if you're going to pair this with any food, cheeses and crackers and stuff like that, light finger snacks, things like that will be good. But you don't want anything really, really heavy. The carbonation is going to kind of help cleanse the tongue. But you still want light uh, flavors to go with it. So, you know, your, your, your water chestnuts, your, your um, what is that? What are the sprouts? Bean sprouts and stuff like that. 
salads and things like of that nature. Uh, light fish, uh, light <laughs> chicken, and the dogs are gonna go nuts. So I'm gonna check into this one. This is a solid four in my book. This is good. This is a solid four out of five, um, and a good springtime ale. Light has hints of refreshment. Will get better when it warms up to about 50 degrees, but um, still good at about 40, which is what it is now. So there we go. So have you had white ale? Holy Moses, white ale from Great Lakes. Do you like it? Not like it? You, do you think it's too weak? Not weak enough? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for sharing. Goodbye. See, we'll cut that out and no one will ever see it. Because I'll forget to put this in. Friends of Tori. It's wet ceiling. Really yellow, pale yellow color. That would be awesome. 20 IBUs. Final set. That actually hurt my ears. <laughs>